Hey everybody, how are you? It's been a while since I've done a clay video. I've uh, gotten several, I, I've gotten so many requests I had to write them down because I'm going to have a lot of these coming up. Um, apparently a lot of you like them, um, which I'm very thrilled because I kind of do it my own way and to try to show you the best way to do it. Um, my style, um, as always, you know, if you want to, there are many classes out there and many places that you can take where you can get professional, more professional, um, instruction and I'm all for it. If that's what you want, I'm somebody again with RA and fibro and many other issues that, um, I do things the best that I can and I do it the easiest way I can. And I like to show beginners the way I break it down in my head because I'm a visual learner. Now, having said that, I have several pieces of clay you can see I have rolled out somewhat. Um, I have my pasta machine over here. Um, I'm not going to use it. Um, you can, however, use your pasta machine if you have one. A lot of people just starting out um, like to play with clay. Um, I've gotten a lot of emails saying that they don't have one, can't afford one. You don't need one. You can roll out again with a water bottle. Um, you know, whatever, you know, we've talked about many things, paint bottles, whatever you have. Um, I wanted to show you a couple things. I made this. Can you see this little head? And my dog ate his little hair off. So I have to put new hair on him. Can you see how cute? It was a clown. I hope I can make this my picture in my um, profile picture. I might just do it and tag my friend Edie. But it was a clown and my dogs ate the hair off of. <laughs> this guy is made out of creative paper clay. And this is amazing um, casting resin. So the uh, extremely, um, I'm reading my box and it says extremely easy to use. And that's oh my God. The quick uh, set one. Uh, the, the quick, I did it with green, but um, added color to it. But. It's a uh, amazing uh, mold putty casting resin, the quick curing one, which I love. I can't tell you how many times I love amazing mold putty and amazing casting resin. And this is made out of creative paper clay. And he is my creepy. He also had hair and the dogs got him. My dogs apparently like hair, but, um, it was kind of burnt. I kind of burnt it up. He had like this like creepy, like kind of hair. And, um, I kind of burned it up a little bit and looked really cool. And then the dogs thought it was even cooler, but like I did like his little brain. Let's see if it clears up, cut out of his head. And he's kind of got blood coming down and his little ribs are showing and his guts. Can you see it in all its delicious glory? It's like a fallen angel. Cause I'm a, I'm a zombie. I love walking dead. So he's kind of like, you know, like this, like fallen angel with like one wing who turned into a zombie. Hello, hello, hello. And I love his little ribs inside that I did. And his little guts and his little hands and his little feet. Hello, hello, hello. So I just got to fix his little hair, but I love his brain eating out. Okay. Anyway, I'm done playing, but those are two things I did. And Edie, this is for you. Hello, Edie. I'm going to put a big orange hair on them and send them to Edie as a gift. It won't clear up because everything else is on there, but look. Hello, Edie. Okay, I'm done torturing. Okay. So today we are going to do, <laughs> if I can pronounce it, Mon Kume Clay. And it is spelt M-O-K-U-M-E. Mokume, Mokume. I never know how to pronounce it. However, there's like seven gazillion ways to do this. And I, my friends, are going to show you a bunch. Not in one video, however. But I am going to show you um, different ones, you know, different ways that you can do this. Oh, if I can get my uh, thing I'm looking for. I'm going to show you different ways to do this and um, get a result. You know, that's really cool. So you can choose to, to do whatever way you want. And that's what we're going to start today. 
Now I have, of course, you guys know, I use my scrap, my scrap clay. That's what I have down here. Um, so, you know, that's kind of what I'm going to use today. So colors, I'm not too worried about. You can choose colors um, that, you know, contrast each other. And after you see this, what ha what we do here and what, um, and everything, then you can um, decide when you do yours, how you want your colors to be. You can do them black and white. You can, do, you know what I mean? And just do it that way. You can do it yellow and black. Like if you like um, a certain football team and I mean, you know what I mean? And use their colors. You don't have to use so many colors. You can use whatever you want. Um, so that's just a little tip. This one, I'm just going to, I'm just going to cut these. We want them in the basic same kind of size squares. So I'm just going to cut basic size squares. And I'll save these and keep them separate for when I do my next my next video to show you other cool things to do with these. I don't know if I'm using all of these colors, but And I'm not going to worry too much that my purple is not the same size as everything else because you'll see why. And then, something's already cracking there. This blue pearl needed to be conditioned a little bit more, but my hands have had a hell of a week. And I just ain't doing it. So, let's start with the darker color first. And what we're going to do is we're going to stack. So, kind of look at them, you know, think of your color wheel. Think of, you know kind of like if you're going to do dark light, dark light, the way you want to do them, I would probably do yellow next. And then I would probably do purple and then maybe white and then blue. And I'm just going to leave this bad boy out right now because I don't think I'm going to need it. So I have them. I'm going to take my roller and I'm just going to kind of Squish them together a little bit. You just want to roll them a couple times that way. And I'm going to move my camera down in one second. And a couple times this way. Because you kind of want them to be a mush and mush. Now if you have a um, pasta machine, you can roll this through your pasta machine. My pasta machine is over there. Let's see. It's where, where it's behind there with my dead guys laying on it, but I'm not going to use it today because if you have a pasta machine, obviously you can stick this through your pasta machine, the thickest setting, but for those who don't, don't despair. We're going to do it. Anyhow, I didn't really rhyme, but you get, you kind of get what I'm saying. So now what I'm going to do is because there's some crazy little edges there. I'm just going to kind of cut them. And obviously, as you can see, I did not um, <laughs> fix my blade. But something I want to show you. You could leave it the way it is and just cut and have these great. Now, obviously, my white wasn't fully white. I had other colors mixed in there. But you can just have these great um, mixtures in there. Do you know what I'm saying? Like these stripes and use them for something. So these don't have to go to waste. If you don't want, you have like this great pattern. So you can just continue slicing off, slicing off and build a great pattern with that. And that's something else too. That's just something, you know, I don't like wasting scraps. I usually use them for inside of things, but whatever. So now I'm going to take this and I'm going to move you down just a little bit and maybe adjust my camera so you can actually see. Because wouldn't that be joyous? Okay. All right. Which way? Left and right, Kelly. Left and right. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this in half. And then I'm going to lay. And I'm going to do cut size. Look how awesome that looks. Imagine what you can just do with that. Imagine if you just have, well, without the dog hair. And I got a kitten. And he thinks he owns the joint. 
So he's everywhere. Um, but I love it and I love him and I don't care. But look how cool that looks if you slice thin slices off of that. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you. So then we're just going to place it on top. Look at how fun. And we're just going to give it a little kind of push so it kind of, you know, looks like one. And let's just slice one off just to see before we go on. Remember, it's hot down here, blah, 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 blah. Let me take it off. Oh, that's so cool. And look how cool. This isn't what we're doing today, but I just wanted to show you. Now you can see in the middle, I should have pushed a little bit more. Like you can see the bubbles and all. I could have taken my roller over it, but I, uh, I'm not worried about that right now. But look at that. Now you have a whole other, you have a design from a design from a design. So, um, you know, you can definitely use this with whatever you want. Okay. That's just something else there. It's just saying hello. How cute. Okay. So now let's just take this and you can see we have it here and we're going to roll it out again. Roll it, roll it. And this time you're going to use a little bit more pressure. And if you have your pasta machine, put it through your pasta machine. So you're rolling it. I'm not using my pasta machine again because I want people who don't have a pasta machine to still do this and not feel like they can't do it because we all can do it. Okay. So we got it. You see, we got it pretty thin there. So what I'm going to do one more time is I'm going to cut it. Now you don't have to at this point. Maybe what I'll do is let me cut this in half and show you. I'll show you two different ways. So I have this like this and I'm going to cut it and then I'm going to lay this on top of this. So the colors stack, you want the colors going the same way when you stack it and you can already see it's doing the, its own thing there. And then I'm just going to roll it again. And this is the one thing we're going to do. And I'm rolling and I'm rolling again. You can use your pasta machine. Okay. So here's number one. Okay. I'm going to take, and I didn't grab any of my, <laughs> I didn't grab any of my stamps that I wanted to use with this, but we'll make it work because we can make it work. If I can get the camera on what I want to do. All right. So I'm just taking, now these are called, these are from color box and they're molding mats. Now I use them for mixed media and everything, but if you have a pasta machine, you can put this with your clay and run it through your pasta machine. These are awesome. Um, however, I use them for everything and I don't always use them with the pasta machine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick that on there and I'm going to push really hard down. We really want that impression in there. And I don't know if that's going to be a deep enough impression. We shall see, but we shall do other things too. Take a ruler if you want. I'll really push it if your hands are bad. And then lift up. Yeah. And then over here, I'm going to do... Um, I don't know. I can't believe I didn't grab any other stamps. What was I thinking? I'm just going to kind of do like this. Okay. Now, let's see. I'm going to move you down again. Oh, wrong way. I'm going to move you down again. I'm going to move the camera down. Okay, now we're taking our, our uh, razor, our blade rather, not razor. I wouldn't shave my, my legs with this, although I've been known to do crazy things. And here's what we're going to do. Kind of at an angle, kind of giving it a little bend, and we're going to cut and take that top layer of the stamp off where the raised portions are. 
And can you see it coming? And I'll get it up there in a um, second. You know what I might do? I'm going to move you back and move the camera down and maybe it'll be better. Move the camera down and make it be a better thing to see. And you can saw it. You can use the knife that I keep forgetting to bring down, the zigzag knife. Look at that. See that? Look how cool. And that's just pieces coming off. They're very thin, but you can save these and put these on a piece of clay, which I'll show you in a second. Again, start. And just you want to cut that top off. That's the piece that you cut off when you lift it up. Let me lift this up for you. Oops, kind of smushing. That's what we're getting so far. Look at all the delicious colors. Okay, focus. Focus. Might be too close. There we go. See the diff the delicious colors and all the difference? Let's keep cutting, shall we? And all it is is you're just giving it a little sawing motion. Now, because I'm, I wish I had my glass here and I didn't break it the last time. It's kind of moving more than I choose for it to. But if it does, just go with it and do your best and lift up. I kind of see all these pieces that we're getting off. And let's go here and do a little jiggy. Jiggy with our knife. Oh, that's a nice piece right there. Look at that. Yeah, boy. And you can leave as much of the, of the normal color you want in. This is just kind of giving you... A whole other look. And you can go as deep as you want or as light as you want off the top. I always tend to start lighter and then we'll go deeper if need be. All right, so I think you get the idea. So then you can go in with your, um, you know, like if you want to make a pendant out of this or whatever, you can go in and cut out the shape that you want. You can actually, which is pretty cool, is, I mean, look how cool. Let's see if that'll, let's focus it on the vinyl part. If you look, I mean, you get the idea of what that looks like. Yeah. If you look at this, right, this piece right here, and I'm going to turn it around. And I didn't obviously do it everywhere, and that's fine. It's kind of a shape of a skull. So if you go in with your X-Acto knife or your knife or whatever, you can really work this into the skull shape. Okay? Obviously, this little whatever brain thing it has going on right here will cut off. But just to, just to show you real quick, um, you know, you kind of shape it the way you want it. And it's kind of a cool skull. You know, you kind of play with it a little bit and give it a little bit of coolness in there. You know, and you play with it. And I'm not going to do all that right now. But you can see how you can make cool shapes from it. Now, what you do, what I do, is I take my, my roller and very lightly roll over it. And what happens is all those parts that were lifted up, like even right here where the circle is, you go over it and it becomes embedded and flat. And there you go. Look at that cool piece. Now, like I said, 
you can use this on a mixed media piece because to me the colors and the way that it came out kind of looks like a I don't know like a nature scene almost to me you know tie-dyed nature I don't know but you can then go in and say you know what I really dig this part right here and take your um, cutter you know like for your jewelry or whatever cut out and then you have you know a great I mean piece cut out two of them and you have earrings cut out you know a bunch of small ones and you can make a bracelet and then just get like little seed beads that match I mean the different colors that come out it, it's amazing I mean and it really didn't take that long and I wasn't careful and you didn't need your um, pasta machine so I think this is awesome I love this um, and like I said, I might just use this on a piece of um, mixed media art I have. I'm just saying. Now, look at all these delicious pieces. What does one do with delicious pieces? Well, like we always talk about, you could take, you know, scrap clay, roll it in a ball. All right. Take your pieces. Just set them around it. You know, where you see little holes, go ahead and roll it again. And like I've told you a million times, it rolls into one thing. And look at that. So now you have a bead. You want it, you don't want it circle and you want it more, you know, oval. You know, or uh, a tumbler bead, whatever they're called. Like it looks like those, you know, wooden beads, but they're not. And then you just, before you bake it, put your hole in it. You know, play around with it. Take it, roll it, give it a twist. And that gives you a whole new look. So these pieces, and then, you know, make it like a little smoother. Look how cool. All right. Come on, clear up our baby. But look how cool that is. And you just put the hole through and you bake it to your manufacturer's instructions on your clay. And this is awesome. Now, real quick, because I know I can go on forever and work 22 minutes and everybody's going to complain my videos too long. Just trying to teach. All right, so now we have the piece that we didn't um, go back in. Do you know what I mean? Remember I cut it and then I put the other piece on and that's how we got all the things. So I'm not going back in with this one, but I am going to show you if we don't go back in and we press. And I'm going to press and I'm going to give it a roll. And then give a couple extra. There's my dog choking. The humidity hurts him very badly and this is not going in again this was you know cutting it like we did before this is only a one-time pass and then look at that you get so you don't get the small um details but you get just a great of, of look so remember the other one we cut in half put this on top of it and then went down so our layers went to you know a double layer this one, I only left the one layer. And like I said, if you use your, I got to remember to grab my other uh, knife, but um, my other blade, the rigidy one, you get a different look on that too. And I really have to do that, but I keep forgetting. So you get bigger, you know what I mean? It's not as... And it's equally as wonderful. So you can get two different looks by making, you know what I mean? You don't double it. So this is our first Monu came. <laughs> I know, make fun of me because I cannot pronounce it. And it's it's not, it's just, I'm just not, I just don't grasp it. You know. And then we'll roll this so you can see the same thing. 
and it takes all that down so it's flat and what's cool is you can still see where you put in your circles like your circle line some of them but they're flat you can't feel them so when you cook this and when you bake it and glaze it it adds another um, bit of dimension so here's our two different ones this is over you know over cut and then over each other and this is just the first pass and this is lesson one <laughs> in this I have two more things um, I want to show you with this kind of thing that I think are really really cool so those will be coming up soon and I hope you enjoyed them leave me comments um, I always love answering questions and I love getting your comments and your messages and if you try it let me know and I'm loving this right here loving it and you know, this is just really fun and it's really fun to do with the kids. So, you know, and you see how easy it was. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you try it. Um, I hope you let me know how you make out. I hope to see you at the next video. And, um, that's all I got today. So my next video will be up within the next few days on how to do the next one. And, and, a general idea of this with a twist so very exciting hope you guys liked it hope you guys enjoyed it be kind to each other because you never know what battle everyone's fighting and have a really really wonderful weekend guys bye